Hi everybody, today we're going to be creating some artwork with Microsoft Paint. So we're going to go down here, I've got it saved with Microsoft Paint here. You can also do a search on it and put in MS Paint or just type in the word paint and it should find it. So we're going to bring up paint, I'm going to make it full screen here, there we go. Alright, so we've got our main area here. Alright, today we're going to create a monkey. So we're going to go up here to our shapes, and we're going to click on our oval. Now we don't want it to be an oval, because we don't want it to be like this. We want it to be a sharp circle for his head. So we're going to hold down the shift key on our keyboard, and that will make it a nice sharp circle. So we're going to make it nice and big. Even if it's off a little bit, that's fine, because we're going to see our dotted area here. We're going to come up here move where we want and then let go and then click on the side and now it is permanently here if for some reason we made a mistake if we go here and we do undo so our arrow here we can undo it all right so let me do my circle again there's my circle I'm gonna move it where I want I want to make sure I got space on each side here because we're gonna add ears okay so there's our monkey's head Let's add our ears here. So we're gonna have big ears, right? That are gonna come out like this, but we're gonna make them out of circles as well. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna hold down my shift key. So it'll be a nice, strong circle. I'm gonna have it like that. I like that size. Then let go on my mouse. And then I'm gonna move that ear out. I want him to have kind of big ears. So I think I like that right there. It's kind of in the middle and over to the left there. Okay, I like that. I'm going to click off of it. And then I'm going to make another one. So the best way to make another one is start right here. Hold down shift to get my circle. And then pull until it's close to the same size. So I'm going to pull to the bottom. All right, okay, and then that one kind of overlapped a little bit on that side. So we're going to have overlap right there. That looks nice. And then we're going to make an inner part of a circle as well. So we're going to make it, I think, about that size. I like that. Let's see. So let's look at it. We're going to have that stick out some, too. There we go. We're going to kind of put that right in the center of our circle for his ear. So let's put it right there. All right. Click off to the side and then. Hold down shift and do it again. So each time we want a perfect circle, we have to hold down the shift key. All right, we got our, once we have our dotted, then we can move it. Once we have those dots around it. There we go, okay. That looks good. Okay, click off to our side. Okay, so that looks good. Only problem is we have ears on the outside of our monkey's head and we have ears on the inside of our monkey's head. So we need to erase this stuff here that we don't want. So we're going to come up here to our tools, we're going to click on the eraser, and then we're going to come here and we're going to erase the stuff we don't want. If we make a mistake, remember we can come up here to our undo. There we go, and I'm going to try again. So if I make a mistake, I just go back in and do the undo and then try it again. All right, so here we go. I'm going to erase all the stuff here that's not what I want. And then I'm going to let go and then erase some more here. Here we go. That came out pretty good. Here we go. And every time we let go of the mouse, it will, or we let go and we stop clicking, it will make an undo point, basically. So it gives us a place we can go back to. So fix that mistake if we need to. There we go. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to let go of the mouse and then click again. So just in case if I get too close. There we go. Oh, see, I got a little close there. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to try it again. Oh, there we go. See, that looks really nice. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. We want to keep this nice and clean. Every time I 
start a new area, make sure I click on the mouse and hold so that way it makes those undo spots. That right, gives me another undo point. So. Alright, make sure we're using our mouse and not just using a touch screen. Touch screen, this would be really hard on. Go. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Go, there we go. Remember to let go of that mouse every so often so you can make another undo point so that way you don't have a whole bunch to fix if you undo something, then you can just go back in. Okay, so that looks really great. I like how that looks. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another circle. And we're going to make the part of his mouth. So his mouth is going to be pretty big. So I'm going to make a big circle. And I'm going to go all the way here to about there. So a little bit bigger than in the, a little bit bigger than inner ear part, but not as big as the outer ear part. Okay, and then we're going to move this. So we got to make sure we keep those dots on it. If we click away, then we can go and do the undo. All right, and then we want, see how we have this curve here of his head? And we have the curve here of his mouth. So we're going to make those, we're going to kind of put those in the same spot. That way that curve comes. There we go. So see how it goes right there. It doesn't stick out or anything. All right, and then we're going to use this special tool here. So we have our line tool. Right next to it, we have our curve tool. And let me show you. With the curve tool, the cool part is we can draw a straight line. Doesn't have to be perfect, but then we can drag it and pull it. Now we have to make sure that we come up here and click these tools. After we do that, we have to click one tool so that it sets this. Otherwise, if we click off to the side, look how it distorts that. All right, so we can't do that. So let me undo that. Let me draw his mouth again. Bring it across. I'm going to drag it into a smile. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the oval again. All right. Now let's add some nostrils. So there's one nostril and two nostrils. All right. And they don't have to be perfect, but you can move them around. If you don't like the way they came out, undo it and then try it again. go I think oh that nostril is not cooperating let's see there we go all right now let's draw some eyes now you can draw the eyes as ovals or you can hold down shift and make them circles I'm gonna make mine circles I'm gonna give him this is the outer part of his eye so we're gonna do the outer part of the eye and then we'll do the pupil the inner part there. So I'm going to do it like that. I click off. Um, click go to about the center. Hold down shift again. That's going to be his inner part of his eye. I'm going to kind of line that up. Right there at the bottom. Let me see. Okay, I like that. That looks pretty good. And let me show you how we're going to do a little copy trick here. So if we go up here to select, we're going to click on select. And then we're going to click and we're going to highlight. We're going to select that eye. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to copy. And then we're going to go to paste. And there it goes. It pasted the eye right up here. Now we got a copy of his eye, so they're exactly the same. All right. So now we got our monkey drawing. So now let's start adding some colors. So the best way to add colors on this, since we added all these nice black lines, everything's closed off. So that's why we want to have those clean lines. If we come up here to our bucket one, so fill with a color. We're going to click on that. We're going to choose whatever color you want. I'm going to make him this kind of dark reddish brown. It's a nice rich color. I like that. I'm going to make inside of his mouth his mouth here I'm gonna make it like this lighter tan oh I like that that's already coming out nice uh, let's see I think I want to make his ears kind of light tan like that I like that and then maybe this dark 
on the inner part. Oh, I like that. That looks nice. I could always try if I don't like that and I can change it. Let me see if I like that better. Oh, I do. I like that better. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change it. And then I want to color his eyes and his nostrils. So not the outside of his eyes, but the pupil part of his eyes. So let's see if we give him, how does he look with like green eyes? That's not bad. Uh, let me try, I'm going to try uh, maybe this purple color. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Hmm. I'll come back to that maybe. All right, let me do his nostrils. That's in, sorry, inside of his nose, basically. There we go. All right, I like that. I think I still am going to change his eyes. Oh, there we go. I like my monkey with blue eyes. That looks good. All right, we've got our monkey all done. Now we've all we got to do is save it. So let's go and save it. So let's go up here. Remember, we had our undo. Right next to it is a little save file, little folder. We click on that. And we're going to save it. So we're going to put our first name. So I'm going to put John for me. But you're going to put your first name. And then you're going to put 01. Because that's your first one that you created. And then we're going to make sure we're in our picture folder. So we're going to look on the side here. And I'm going to make sure I got it in the picture folder. So make sure it says pictures. Put it right there. And then click on save. And now we have that monkey saved. If we ever look for it. We can click on our folders here and go to our pictures. And there is my monkey. There we go. Good job, everybody.